of pre-paint, which is in the supermarket. Um, so I did pre-paint that on a canvas. But once I was out here, it's in the head. So okay. I just, but you had a vision of what you wanted to do. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's neat. What, now, what's your name? My name is Elizabeth Santos. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm John Riley. Awesome. Yeah. Actually, um, I've done a little bit of stuff over at um, Northampton Public Television because yeah, we... Yeah, that's, that's who I'm with. Yeah. Yeah, we used to bring our at-risk youth there from um, Bridging the Gap in Holyoke. So we would go over there and uh, I'm a friend of uh, Naomi's. Oh, and, nice. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a great program. I like to see that you guys are still pretty active and doing stuff. It's been around a, a good number of years, and it just keeps growing. This uh, uh, Paradise City Press is, is kind of new. It's, it's kind of like a local newspaper, people contributing articles. And I carry my camera around, so if I see something going on, I come by and film it. That's awesome. Now, you said you're free-forming. Are you uh, free-handing? Is this the final stage of your yes, painting? Yes, yep. Just adding some... Um, sunflowers here and uh -huh. then I'm probably gonna add a couple little creatures in here because I just feel like we don't have quite enough wildlife yet and then I'm going to actually roll some clear coat over this which will most likely happen tomorrow because it's just too damp I'd love to do it today but with the humidity it's just kind of like seems like a lost cause that's interesting I'm down, I have a bookstore down on Market Street, Gabriel Books, and we have a couple of murals down there that were painted a long time ago, and they're really starting to deteriorate, and I was hoping that somebody could, like, preserve them. So are you saying put a clear coat? Does that preserve them for yeah, a length clear of time? Coat, um, you know, what it is, is it's, um, this is masonry, so if you have brick. It's brick, yeah. Yeah, you want to use a seal that's, um, you know, a mason brick seal. And, and you can get that at a paint store? Yeah, and you can even get it like at uh, Walmart or Home Depot. And what's really good about it is after the brutal winter, you know, it's a great time to go ahead and give that a coat or anything that you have exterior that's exposed to the elements and that clear coat will seal you in. Do you have to do it every year? You don't have to do it every year, but if you, you know, rolling this wall only took me about two hours. So if you do do it, you know, once a year, you will really preserve whatever it is that you're doing. So you put a coat under this, is that what yes. you're talking about, two hours? Well, so it'll take you two hours to put a, a clear coat? Yeah, so yeah. I did kills. It only took me two hours to roll it. So, you know, you figure two, two hours every season and you get this amazing uh, finish and that's really worth it in the long run because you're actually just extending the longevity of your wall and the creativity. Now, are you talking about the um, the mural in the alley? Yes, exactly. Awesome. Yeah, exactly I, that one. I'd love to preserve it because it's, it's kind of falling apart. And the guy that did it is long gone. Is he long gone? Yeah, he, he studied at UMass. He studied mural painting. The building of downtown, there may or may not be a way that we could do this through the community development office and restore it and seal it. I like that. That'll be great. He's got more than one. He has like three murals around town. Yeah. 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 Where did he end up going to? Nobody knows. Um, he was at UMass. He studied mural painting. That was his deal. And maybe. And then he's he's not been seen since. Probably in Oregon somewhere. Yeah. Enjoying life. Well, you know, I'd be more than happy to touch all that stuff up. I do have some friends in um, City Council, and I'm really trying to reach out to the Northampton Arts Council. Um, so I will definitely uh, come down and give you a business card because I'd really love to be in touch with you a little bit more. Yeah, I, I think it's it's definitely worth preserving, and I hate to see it, you know, falling apart. Nobody seems to be paying any attention to it. Yes, yeah, certainly. Hey, thanks for uh, for talking to me and telling me more about what you're doing here. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's a nice addition to the well, town. It's my pleasure because I was born and raised here, so I, this is what I've been waiting for, like just to have something of my own here. Yeah. Let me go grab you my car.